up everybody it is dark queen and it is another day in gow paradise um so last night well first of all i promised that i would start making videos when they dropped new crap who knew that that would be last night so i'm sure some of you did but um i uh i saw the update the game was acting screwy and i was like oh no uh, here we go. So, anyways, what happened? Well, we got this amazing new gear leveling crap. And, uh, basically, what it does is, is it adds extra boosts to, uh, certain sets of your gear. So, all your attack cores, at least these most recent ones, it shows here, all um, get the boost as you do it. Now, I've already done it, and I probably should have made the video while I was doing it, but basically um, what you need to do is is you add the coins. I don't remember what in the world they were called, um, but you add the charms. That's right. You add the charm or the, the points, whatever the po damn points were called, and then you use these charms to unlock the levels. And each level you unlock, everything gets higher. As you can see here, um, with what came in one pack, I was able to get my attack uh, cores up to level 25, which gives me an 830% legion attack, um, an extra 1560 troop attack, wild troop attack, and strategic att attack. So this goes for all of your current um, attack cores and I assume as they add new ones in here they will pop up in here um, <clears throat> also they'd have it for the wonder set it, I also got this boosted to level 25 honestly I don't know how far it goes yet um, we will see as uh, as as we go on so um, I, I'm not sure yet who knows how high this sucker could go. <clears throat> um, so as you can see, it gives me level 25. I get all of these boosts on my Wonder Core sets. And of course, it includes all the uh, Wonder Core sets, the newest to a little, much little older. Um, then we have <clears throat> six sets of gear that this works on. Now, if you'll notice from this list, we have the Power Forge, the Elite Marshal, the Inquisitor, the Behemoth, the Glorious Architect, and the Lycan. Now, where is Pegasus? I don't know. To me, I expected Pegasus to be in there. And apparently, so did quite a few other people. So, let's look at this because I, uh, Pegasus happens to be my favorite. I wear it the most often. I guess I look good in it. I don't know. Anyways, so what I did here is I started out, um, since I have my research done, I have my buildings done for now, obviously, knock on the MZ wood, and uh, I don't really kill monsters that god awful much because honestly, I don't have time. Um, I've done my most important sets to me, which are my Power Forge sets for my cores, uh, my Elite Marshal for my um, training, for my um, troops, and uh, that's where I started. Um, then I came back in and I did the Inquisitor set and the Lycan set. The reason I did the Lycan is because if you look at the stats on the Lycan, it has a lot of troop attack to it. When you gem and tree the Lycan with these boosts, you get a thousand percent boost on attack, uh, troop attack, troop health, um, troop defense, and blah, blah, blah. You get that uh, when you power this up to 50, which is maxed according to what it's telling me. So I don't know if all gear goes to 50. I'm assuming it may. I'll have to buy another pack and see if I can get those cores up to 50 and see if that's where it, it stops at. Um, so... The big point of my message is here for all of you Pegasus fans, because I know we all use, pretty much all of us use, Pegasus for attack and whatever current defense gear for defense. And at this point in time, it looks like you can have a Lycan set for 
either or. Um, you can set it for attack or you can set it for defense. Um, and let me show you here uh, what has happened with with my stuff. Okay, so I'm in Pegasus right now and I'm, I'm not boosted, I don't think. No, no, I'm not boosted. And we'll look at my numbers. Now, mind you, my research is done. Um, I have everything done but Hero 80. So um, my numbers... Uh, may look different than yours. Um, so we'll start with, let's go down to the troops. Okay, so infantry, it looks like we're running about 25,000 uh, completely across the board in my Pegasus for uh, infantry. Again, 25,007, let's see, for cal or ranged and 25,3 for infantry. So my range is still my highest gear. Um, or troops, and then 25, 3, 4, cavalry. Um, then we go down to our overall bonuses. I'm at 84,000 troop attack bonus in my Pegasus. As you can see, it's a little higher for uh, strategic and a little lower for wild. Um, my troop defense bonus is 26,000, and my troop health bonus is 28,000. Um, so there's that, and my defense debuff is 7,800, so, and my enemy troop health is 12,000, so this is where I'm normally at when I'm normally attacking, not in a core, these are my normals with Pegasus. Now, let's back out and go to the Lycan, gemmed uh, with Shredder. And set with the same hero tree as my Pegasus, which is for attack, we'll notice a few differences. Not too many, um, but a few. So I think, if I remember correctly, that all of my uh, troop attack bonuses, my infantry and so on, all stayed the same. Everything stayed the same there because that's pretty much your tree uh, that does those numbers. Um, overall troop boosts. Here we go. Here's our first big difference. Our troop attack is at 85,000. Now in our Pegasus, it was 84,000. So we've gained an extra, a little bit more than a thousand percent troop attack. Uh, mind you, both gears have runes in them. Everything's boosted as far as it will go. Um, we get down to the troop defense bonus. Of course, it's higher. Um, because Lycan is also a defense gear, so it's for 28,182. Um, and then troop health is, uh, down a little bit, uh, 27,000 for the troop health bonus, which is not quite a full thousand. We're looking at about, oh, what, 800, 700, uh, 800, 900 point difference, uh, percent difference between the two and the troop health bonuses. Um, and our debuffs, I think, are different. The troop attack debuff is up a little higher than the Pegasus. It's at 56. In the Pegasus, it's actually 42. Um, enemy uh, health debuff. Truth, no. I want troop debuff, don't I? Defense debuff. That's what I'm looking for. Hello, Andrea. Yeah, so defense debuff is 7,858, um, which stays exactly the same. And then it goes down just a little bit on the health debuff for 12,378 uh, from Pegasus to 12,332 um, for that. So it's pretty close overall. I'm not like a numbers genius when it comes to knowing what we should have more of or what we should have less on. I generally know that we need, when we're attacking, we need a lot of debuff and we need a troop attack. And, um, cause I've never claimed to be a genius at this crap, by the way, I just, you know, figure it out as I go, right? Somebody's got to do this. So damned confusing. So <laughs> we've got, um, the numbers are fairly, close all in all um but 
as you can tell, the lichen has some benefits to it uh, that your Pegasus won't. So if you're wondering why your Pegasus is not in that tree, it's probably because they're forcing us to use the lichen for attack from now on. So, um, or they just want you to burn the 10 million cores that you have uh, sitting in your inventory. So, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, I think that uh, I was in the middle of training troops when I decided that I probably am going to make this video right now and not delay because guess what? Next week, I'm guaranteeing we'll have something new. I won't be shocked a bit because I'm close to maxing again and it, it never fails to, to happen. And, and last night when I saw this come out, I actually thought, doesn't it figure? I just got my research done and here we are and they're gonna drop more researches. But actually they didn't drop any more research. So praise the Lord on that one. Um, don't mind my guys down there in chat. They're apparently having a moment, um, but yeah. So, um, at any rate, that is the update on this new gear leveling stuff. You're going to have to, one pack is what you see I have done here. Um, I got my lichen maxed. Um, I, I did not get, cause each one has a different charm. The wondrous charm goes for wonder cores. And then you have the striking charm for the attack cores. So, each one has uh, uses a different set, except when we go over to our normal gears. Um, I don't think it'll show me. Yeah, it won't show me what I used on that one. But like this one, the Citizen Charm actually gets used for multiple gears. For your Elite Marshal, your Power Forge, uh, your Inquisitor. And I'm sure it's... Uh, I don't have any XP for to show that but and i'm sure these last two may or may not be that way um we'll see so thank you mz for quite another update i was pretty disappointed because salem has gotten pretty dead and uh the word is uh we've heard that salem is not going ancient for the foreseeable future so we're stuck here um i personally think that everybody should email mz and just ask them to open up gow and make it one gigantic kingdom where we can all just go burn crap constantly like that would personally make me a very happy person we would never be bored ever we would never be bored it would be great um, it would probably be the biggest cluster I've ever seen in my life, but it's whatever. I, I emailed them last night a little bit irritated um, because of the fact that uh, I do sink some money into this game and I am maxed and to the most part, we're close, right? We'll just say we're maxed, uh, but I'm almost there. And yet I have nothing to burn. Like literally everybody's wearing a skirt in Salem today. So any of my Salem friends, please drop your skirts. I need something to burn. Anyways, I'm out of here for now. This is Dark Queen from Salem 940. I hope to burn you soon.